at this point my mind is completely gone as far as i'm concerned i'm not even in new york city anymore i'm on some unknown beach with some puerto rican girl's tongue halfway down my throat because if i had to deal with reality i'd be like screaming all day losing my mind i mean today wasn't that bad uh yeah i was so exhausted when i came down earlier around 6 a.m i just opened up for the guys and i uh, laid down downstairs for a couple hours but you know when i don't sleep i actually get cold and i was getting chills even though it was like 70 degrees outside so i didn't really rest and then i came up and you know one of my guys didn't show up this week so i actually have to do a little work so i had my pick me up meal of uh, some whole foods crappy jerky that i don't really like for some protein uh chocolate bars for some caffeine and some sugar a couple bites of figs and i hydrated with mineral water you know so i have some energy the caffeine you know from the chocolates kind of steady really helps me uh, get started i don't know man if they keep blasting me with those five gay beams down here i think uh my brain's gonna explode and then Cargill can buy my company, they'll have to hire five lunatics to do uh, my job and do what I do. Now I should be like on a movie set, getting my balls powdered or some shit. I, I'm too funny like, and entertaining for this shit. I shouldn't be down here sweating my guts out in the warehouse, but that's the, uh, that's the route I chose, right? You know, I guess my skin doesn't look that bad on camera. I haven't been getting as much sun as I'd like to. And uh, I haven't really stressed out, so I was eating pizza like the last four days straight. Maybe I'll get chubby and these uh, Latino boys will stop hanging around outside my warehouse trying to get my number, so. Oh well. So today I just like to update you guys on all my businesses, just go over where my head's at, which is usually not a good place. Uh, but first I wanna show you the products we have on Frankie's syringe meat this week. I'm pretty happy and excited because not only have I been able to restock and find some products that we ran out of, I've also gotten some new stuff. So this is the Tajima New York strip I showed you guys last week. Amazing, most affordable Wagyu online. These are only like $30 a steak. And what's even more affordable is some Wagyu petite tender steaks I got. These are one pound each and I'm selling these for only $15. So you know, I'd rather make a very small profit on a couple things get people something they really enjoy and they're happy with. Uh, we did get some marrow bones back. I couldn't get beef, but we have veal marrow bones packaged like this. Uh, 13 ounces, two bones each package. Only, I think, five, six dollars a package, which are by far the most affordable marrow bones online. A new cut of lamb. These are lamb tenderloins. There's five tenderloins in this uh, package. Kind of nicely portioned if you guys like lamb. We got the tri-tip back in stock. These are about 1.5 pounds each. Uh, sometimes they're heavily marbled, sometimes not so much. And we got the venison loin steaks back. The package is a little better. And you know, venison is always pretty expensive. So I think I'm charging uh, maybe three or four dollars for each of these steaks. And hopefully when Frankie Boys upstate New York, we can uh, sneak some deer in at a more affordable price. The free offer is two sirloin steaks, which are about three ounces each at about a $10 value that you get with every order. Uh, this is the last day you guys are gonna be able to get this, so if you wanna place your order today, that's what you get. So the venison is definitely not as popular as I anticipated. If I can price it as low as the beef, sometimes you guys will get it. And I wish they had the brown venison in one pound packages because you guys aren't really going for the five pound packages, but you know, it's whatever. I, I like trying out new products, seeing what people want, and whatever you guys are interested in, I'm willing to get it. Uh, this week we're going to have a super lean grind back in stock. I think it's going to be like 95.5. Uh, definitely this week we're going to try out some bone-in ribeye steaks. I'm not sure if we'll be selling them in the future or not. Next week the organ grind should be coming back. And to my understanding, everything that we've been missing and that we ran out of has been back for the most part. Uh, my next focus is trying to figure out whether or not I really want to get a dehydrator in here because you know, not being able to do jerky, granola, pemmican for such a long period of time, it, it's really a killer. And having those products available on Frankie's Free Range Foods would drastically increase our revenue. <laughs> and these people next door are going to lose their shit. Like, it's going to smell like a, oh man, it's going to smell like a barnyard in here. And maybe just to irritate them more, maybe I should like turn this into like Great Wall Hong Kong fish market, start cutting up some fish, maybe get some backyard chickens. That'll wake them up too. Hey, you know, we could also get uh, some goats and some lamb and offer them as a gift. They'll be, uh, 
Middle Eastern people like that, right? Live slaughter. Fly, fly landed on my camera. Oh, so before I go into anything else, I just want to do a quick rundown of all the companies, what's going on. Uh, Frankie's Free Range Meat, we just kind of gave you that update. Uh, Frankie's Free Range Foods, I'm getting out most of the orders today. I'm going to get the rest of the water kefir orders out tomorrow. Sorry there's been like a five day delay. You guys ordered all of the water kefir again. Frankie's Naturals, everything's in stock. I'm losing my mind a little bit trying to keep up with all this stuff. Wi-Fi shielding. We got the bed canopies back in stock. I know we're out of most of the clothing. I need to order more fabric this week and get it to my tailor. Hopefully we have the clothing back in stock in a month or so. And then organ supplements. I've had a very, very, very difficult time sourcing these powders. All these other secret society ran companies and labs and stuff, they kind of have a monopoly on it. And hopefully if that loan works out, when I'm in that slaughterhouse, I can be selling fresh and frozen glandulars on a weekly basis, which will make, I mean, make so much money. And I'll actually be able to start doing things I really want to do and, and, and helping people more, reducing the prices giving a lot of stuff away. Now on one hand, if I just pull the trigger on that dehydrator, which is like $5,000, and then a few thousand dollars on the install, it might just be worth it, because even if I get approved for the loan, which isn't for a month or two, who knows how long it'll take me to get in the new facility, which might be another month or two. Worst case scenario, I'm only out, you know, two, three, four thousand dollars for the install, which it, it is a lot of money, but Making the jerky for that period of time, two or three months, would probably make up for it. Just a lot of labor. The only uncertainty I have is if I buy that $5,000 dehydrator, it, it like gets more expensive as you go larger. But if you spend $10,000, you get a dehydrator with twice the capacity. But I don't think I'm going to need to dry like 2,000 pounds of meat at once in a one day period of time. Because if you have that thing running you know, every day of the week, even if the capacity is a few hundred pounds, it should be adequate. I won't know that for sure. I don't know, I'll have to think about it if I want to pull the trigger on that. Oh, and one thing I forgot was if I do get that dehydrator installed, it's probably going to be more than a few thousand because I got to do the electrical work and then I have to have an HVAC guy try to run some type of ventilation so that it doesn't smell too much. Just some of the post office orders going out this week, maybe like 20 of them. These are actually the tires from my Taurus that were wrecked. Maybe I can get. 50 75 bucks for these because they are kind of brand new got our meat orders for today still got quite a few meat orders to do we actually ran out of all of the salts i do have some coming in this week so the, all the salt should be back in stock best bar inventory is looking okay hopefully we can make some more this week otherwise we might run a little low on stock the cheese inventory is very very low uh, we're actually almost out of everything we just have some parmigiano sardo romano gruyere left so I gotta place another order for cheese this week. Well, I'm not sure if I have enough money in the bank account for that. So here I actually have some animal feed that's been down here for about a year because I thought we were gonna get some chickens and it's like three or $4,000 worth of it, but this is gonna have to hold out for another year or two until I can get you know, the slaughterhouse, the farm property set up. But then you know, we'll have maybe six months of one of the feed components good to go. Almost got my computer set up. I found out that the PC I bought doesn't have an HDMI cable, so I gotta go home and look at my monitors and see if I have to buy a different monitor, but either way I have the, the nice BenQ low LED monitor for when I upgrade my computer setup in the next year or two and go to triple monitor. We'll have the phone on the wall soon. The, the five grams router is off right now until I can connect directly to it and disable it. I guess that's going to be it for today, guys. Some of you can probably tell by my attitude that I'm, I'm completely over this bullshit. Uh, you know, I never cared about money. You know, the only reason I'm down here doing this stuff is, you know, seeing what I can make and how many people I can help. And unfortunately, I've grown to understand over the past few years that you got to play the game. You know, it's, it's weird how you, know, you basically have to make as much money as possible in order to help as many people as possible. Whereas everyone else is trying to make as much money as possible just to pad their own bank account and live a luxury life. Uh, so hopefully, you know, it'll pay off in a year or two or three and things will be running itself. Because, like, if it was up to me, I would just hire four or five people and have this business run itself. But if I was paying that much, you know, on the payroll, the business profit would be so minimal that 
you know, I don't know if I would ever be able to expand and do the things I want to do. So uh, as long as I don't go absolutely completely crazy, whatever. Hopefully I didn't complain too much today. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me. You can check out frank com for all of my businesses. And uh, you know, I, I've been trying to get the website frank com for years and years and years. But some guy owns it and he's been sitting on it like, dude, come on. I am... I'm the most popular Frank Tefano. Just give me the fucking website. It's probably some 65-year-old man that's going to croak or some shit anyway. Uh, but all right, let's end this on a positive note. Check out frank tefanocom to support me and my other businesses. Please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. I'll see you guys tomorrow.